Welcome to Electron Online. Let's now do our next simplification of this expression. Again, we need to follow specific rules and specific order of operations. First of all, we want to eliminate parentheses and absolute value symbols. We have one up here at the top, the quantity minus 2 inside the absolute value symbol. So let's first get rid of those symbols and make that into a positive 2. This is equal to a positive 2. I'm going to put parentheses around it, raised to the third power, plus 1 divided by minus 7 minus the square root of 4. So notice the absolute value of a negative 2 is equal to a positive 2, which is now raised to the third power. Next, we want to get rid of exponents and radicals. We have an exponent in the numerator, we have a radical in the denominator. So this can be written as 2 cubed, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8, plus 1 divided by negative 7 minus the square root of 4, that's minus 2. Now we can combine what's in the numerator and combine what's in the denominator. Notice it's the numerator divided by the denominator, but before I can do that division, I have to simplify both the numerator and the denominator. So this can now be written as 8 plus 1, which is 9, divided by minus 7 minus 2, which is a minus 9. Now I can divide 9 by minus 9, which is simply equal to minus 1. Remember, when you divide or multiply a positive and a negative number, you end up with a negative result. And this is the answer. Negative 1 is what this is equal to, and that's how it's done.